Curator Paolo Nascimento and artist Monica de Miranda speak to us about the exhibition no longer with the memory but with its future in Venice. Hi, I'm Paola. I'm uh, curating the exhibition no longer with the memory but with its future with artist Monica de Miranda here in Venice. Um, the show was installed in a small church, old church, 16th century church, and it really deals with different temporalities. It's built around a central piece, a video piece, um, but the rationale of the show is really to walk people through a world that is discussing not just temporalities but also women's fights, the role of women in liberation struggles, um, and lastly a relation between the human and the environment, using as a setting the Kwanzaa River in Angola. Uh, but doing this interplay between using a very specific location to discuss wider um, themes and issues. So the first piece of the show as we walk in, the exhibition is structured around three main rooms. The first piece is a prologue to the main piece and it's a text installed on the wall. Uh, basically it's, it's a text that then references the film but where the artist has used intertexts, really. Uh, it's a poetic description that sort of allows people to enter into the environment that we're creating. Um, and we then have a film piece that is installed in dialogue with an altar in the church. So there is also an attempt to find a balance, not just be between the architecture of the space that is very, very charged, and the film piece, but also between the cosmological aspects of the film and spiritual aspects of the space. And then we finish in the present um, with a you know, futuristic message of three sisters emerging from a river. It's an instal installation, photographic installation. Um, and that sort of circles uh, the three themes that we are talking about, three temporalities, past, present and future, um, women's struggle, liberation's uh, struggle, but also, and then the, a, a, a wider reflection on Anthropocene and how we really need to go back to think about colonial projects uh, to be able to really understand where we are today, but also to project a better future. Looking at time and space, the main piece of the exhibition is a video piece called Path to the Stars. And Path to the Stars, um, it's based on uh, a poem from Agostinho Neto, uh, the first president of Angola. Um, and Path, Path to the Stars, uh, it was also a poem that he referred to time and space and it was written in 1975 uh, at the time of the independence and he was also looking for a, a future present of change. Uh, so from the poem, um, we, I recall another literature, um, another uh, book that it's the, the last day of our lives uh, where a Polish uh, war reporter went in, in 1975 to Angola and he described the exodus of the white population leaving the country and now the city uh, became completely empty and he went, uh, he, he went to do his um, uh, report uh, out uh, out in, in the north of the country and uh, in his uh, journey he found a woman uh, with the name Carlotta uh, and we in the book we have only one picture of her. Uh, Carlotta died after two days but the picture on the book um, he made her immortal and then she really symbolizes the, um, the struggles um, for the liberation fight and now women uh, have been involved. So there is not mu uh, much um, available about Carlotta and that image somehow 
it was what inspired me for the film. So, um, Carlotta, I'm giving uh, life to that image through the narrative of the film. So the film, uh, it looks at the journey of a woman uh, from um, uh, dust to dawn and uh, she goes into a journey um, finding about herself and finding about her history and as she goes through the river and the river it's uh, somehow a symbol of um, fluidity but uh, how things have been traveled through the river um, in terms of what it contains of the history of the country uh, the pre-colonial, colonial, post-colonial, post and uh, the recent crisis, immigration, um, uh, the recent crisis, ecological crisis. So as she goes in the in the journey, she looks at the edges, and there is different scenes that she has to confront herself with, uh, and some of the scenes, they are actually um, real, but the real and the fiction come together to tell another story. A story of her trying to also liberate herself and a, a story of self-discovery. So she contains many archetypes on her of the heroine, of the mother uh, and of the woman and she goes into this uh, journey to kind of find and ask herself how can we be free. <laughs>